Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing Cash Games 2-5 with a $500 buy. Nobody's five suited, get three bets. Um, they're a bit shorter, but size is reasonable, we'll call. Uh, huge flop, ace high flush draw with the gutter. Oh my gosh, they jam. I think I get to call, but obviously weird when they 3x pot jam it. Okay, here we go. As ace king, we're actually a slight favorite, not anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, we get him with 57% with ace high. Can't win. Uh, I think this is just small enough where I can have sizes that are not all in for four bets. And we go pretty small and we do this here. So we just click it. Again, not just clicking because we have kings, but kings, queens, cooler, just hold. Just hold. All right, running good against our buddy Utaka. Raise ace 10, two calls here, ace king nine. I'm gonna mix in some checks with ace 10. I think we'll probably do it this time multi way. If this player decides to check eventually. Ooh, they lead for pot. Okay, so bit scary against player only raises 1% of hands. So we're actually gonna proceed pretty cautiously here. So not folding yet, but for example, if they bet this turn and they snap bet pot when there's been call call for pot here. And their stats are 56 1. Like, they could be a person that just like flats ace king, ace queen here, ace jack. So, again, feels nitty, but I think given the stats, like, it ends up being a pretty easy fold with ace 10. Let's see if we get to see this one at showdown. Kind of curious. I'm going to feel like a dummy. It's like jack 10 versus miss diamonds by the end, but I think it's a pretty good chance here that this guy's got a very good hand. Also, like, these player types that aren't aggressive pre, a lot of times they're really passive with their draws, so they won't lead them out as much. This will be like a lot more value. So anyways, this player ends up folding and they take it down. Cut off open, through betting ace king suited. We're super deep, about 200 big lines effective. Calls 10, seven, six. I'm gonna go ahead and bet. It's more we're gonna do a decent amount of checking on, but bet this time. And if we get called and don't improve, I might check a decent amount of turns, but we'll see here. The thing I like about betting flop is we're starting to build the pot for when we hit. So again, this stacked up probably can't be going too nuts. We'll just call here. Deuce turn. So I'd imagine they're not jamming here. They check, we're just gonna pot control and check. Let's get like a three of spades. Five of hearts, that is not what I asked for. So. I'm actually kind of curious what they show up with. Hopefully they have like queen jack of spades. Queen nine, okay, so they missed their gutter. That works for me, we still win the hand. Hijack limps, we raise ace queen, they call top top on the flop. They only start with a little bit under 30 blinds, so gonna be willing to go for it here. Go to battle with the ace queen, ace nine two, queen or 10 turn. So again, not the greatest turn, I'll lose the ace 10, 10 nine suited, but when the SPR is Lower as it is, we're just gonna be bet, bet, betting for value. All right, again, not loving it, but they have queen eight of hearts, miss their flush draw, hit a pair, and we're good. Cut off open through betting queens, playing about 120 foot lines effective here. Get four bet, think mainly just jamming. Give him Jackson, let us hold. Aces, boom. Queen, oh no, club, no ace. Oh, I was gonna say, good flop, but there's definitely some scary ones with the clubs, so give us the tease and we lose that one. Four bet time with the ace king, button versus BB. Call. Uh, Jack nine seven. Not sure I'm supposed to bet this a ton. I'm going to here having the ace of hearts with the other ace king combos. I wouldn't. This should maybe just be a check. We get called. Good turn. Now again, a bit scary because like queen 10 suited comes in. Some two pairs, but there's two draws out there. And he's got some king queen too. SPR is so low. You just have to be your stack off threshold changes a bit. So we'll go for a jam. I don't want to get snap called, um, but we just end up seeing a full ace king's good. Open king queens to the call here. 
Button flop, base 10 eight, so we've got a gut shot. There it is, gut shot on the turn. Go ahead and bet the turn. Raises, wow, okay, so I think just jamming here, so there's straights and there's two pairs. Actually, let me think about this. There's not an action, there's no flush draw, so there's less act. I'm actually just gonna call this one and hope the board doesn't pair. Ah, shoot, see this probably kills some of the action too. They have a queen, this sucks. Uh, they have 10-8. Oh, they calls down two pair. Okay, so king-queen good. Maybe should have got that on the turn. I'm kind of curious, but it uh, works out that time. Good news. We're getting three-bet. Uh, just click in this one. So this is cut off button, small blind. All right, hold. Aces, kings, hold. Hey, there we go. Absolute cooler. We were running so Man, we've been cooler in him lately. Yesterday we got him like we got really lucky for like big coolers again. Just sun run in there. Open queens get three bet. Player starts only. It's under 60 blinds effective. We're just gonna be jamming. Snaps it off. Ace queen hold. Oh gosh, they have a spade coverage. Ooh, we hold. <laughs> Scare on the flop, but we hold. Raise the limper with Queen Jack. Just recall, flop the open ender. Calls turn the straight is a spade though. I uh, don't have a spade, which is bad. Um, heads up on good runouts. We're still kind of going for uh, blocking river on the board pair. It's not really a good run out. Ah, uh, jams shoot. Heads up. Taking to flush. I mean, heads up is a pretty absurd fold, but we lose the boats and flushes here. Um, I guess they maybe are jamming 10x when they shouldn't, so I'm going to call here. Getting 3-1. to one, And they said 9-7. They turned into a bluff. Queen Jack good. Um, King Jack suited here. 40 blinds effective. I think could be a 3 but Then you'd have to call off. Yeah, this is where it gets kind of weird, heads up. I think at the stack size, it's 3-bet to call off, whereas like 100 BBs deep, you would 3-bet to just flat. Uh, start with a bet here. Calls. Don't have the ace, but we have spades. <laughs> Can rep the ace pretty well. They snap us with fours while they flop to set, but we river the flush. Oh, it's some running good there. Limp, button raise, we three bet tens. Limper and flating the pot a little bit. If he jams here, it's like a decent sized jam, but again, it's inflated because of the limper. He's pretty aggressive, so I probably would have to call. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna check jack seven three here. Check check six turn check again. Bet just call. Ace river. I'm um, definitely going to have ace-king as play. I don't think he should be betting this one a ton of bluffs, I don't think. So I probably can fold. Uh, like, it's, like, it's not like he's betting king-jack here, any jack, right? It's like ace or better. Don't think he checks the flop of the set, so it's like his value hands are what? Set of sixes, maybe he calls ace-six suited pre. Ace-jack and like other ace-x. But even then, he has to be kind of careful on the, betting the ace on the river because he can probably only bet as thin as like ace queen. I don't think he can bet really ace 10. Uh, I don't have a club. I want to be a hero, but we're going to fold here. Like I said, I'm going to have some ace x myself, so I think it's fine to fold the tens. Hijack open, cut off flat, squeezing kings from the button. Over to the short stack here. A jam we call. Ace jack kings. Jack on the flop. Hey, nice hold. Kings are good. Limp pot here, flop and bottom set. Gonna go for check raise. They have aces. Wow, they are getting sneaky with aces. <laughs> Limp in the button, flop the set at the perfect time. We're good. Let's 
see a call, uh, flop and over pair. Go ahead and check nines here. It's maybe should be a bet because I could use benefit from some more denial. But I decided to check this time. Small size call. Three turn check. So see a bet again. It's kind of tempting to want to check jam for denial here. Because they're going to have a lot of like ace X and then like flush draws. Problem is, like, if I had jacks, I'd feel better about because I could get value from like tens and nines. But like here, obviously, I get beat by tens and jacks. They can have, so we're just gonna call here, and then this river. Once I take this line, this is gonna be a call. This is actually an extremely good river. So sometimes it gets jacked by like jacks, tens, maybe queens. They can have sets of eights, obviously too. Set of five is less likely now. Um, so yeah, this is definitely gonna be a call down as we've played it. It is a bluff catcher, obviously, but. <laughs> Once I check the flop with this and get this run out, we are not folding. Oh, they did flop the set. So annoying. Uh, why couldn't they give me a river that's an easy one to get away from? Oh, so tilting. All right, YouTube, that's the end of another cash game session and another nice win today. So we played a total of 1,080 hands at 2.5, profit of 1,351. 1, 2, 845 hands, profit of 409. Total profit plus 1,760. Things are starting to turn around here and I'm hoping we keep this trend going forward. So hope you enjoyed the hand and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.